partnering in whatever way you can, I think. It is stimulating, it is architecturally rewarding from a design point of view, from a learning point of view, um, from a business point of view, it makes sense. There, there is, to my mind, almost no downside. Sometimes one would see that, um, well, you don't get to do the whole job. No, you don't, but you actually get to work alongside someone and see how they work. You can bring that to your next job. You also give them some learning. Experience is probably the, the best teacher of all. And if you work with these people who have the experience, you learn from them. And uh, you can skip a lot of the, the mistakes you might otherwise make, you know? Well, like, like I'm really for collaboration. I think collaboration makes for kind of, uh, kind of narrows the areas that you don't understand and also makes for more interesting projects. So I've, in the past in some of my interior jobs I've collaborated with artists and uh, um, jewellers etc etc. I find collaboration works best when the practices do have a particular expertise to bring to the table so that we're not all trying to do the same thing but actually you can define boundaries very clearly and scope of work and that um, the process is much clearer that way. One of the ways that we survived during the recessionary period was uh, with collaborating with other architects um, and quite often that meant uh, architects actually not from Ireland um, uh, and, and they were very interesting times um, to say the least. We, we learnt an awful lot. Sometimes we would collaborate in relation to the procurement and delivering large scale projects that we can pool our resources. Uh, other, other areas we would do is we would collaborate by offering specialist services to other architects. Uh, primar primarily, one a simple one is uh, uh, climate data. We would find collaboration um, usually a very enjoyable process. It adds to the debate between the two practices. You really have to kind of clarify your approach, and you know, almost there's a bit of that friction is healthy, I think, and it always certainly any, any anywhere where we have involved on it, 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 has a, it has delivered a very good outcome for the client. I think for those things to work you have to have a really good relationship with the other party that you're collaborating with and you also have to have very good um, communication protocols otherwise you're probably just getting tied up in something that's more work than it's worth. The Irish market uh, I suppose doesn't have enough volume in particular say types of buildings where people can sort of specialise individually in, um, in particular building types. Uh, we found over the years that collaboration has really added an awful lot to our, um, to our punching power. Anything that, that brings a new dimension to, to our work and increases our level of knowledge has got to be a good thing and we can see how others work and how we might incorporate that into our own work and you know what, what we might do better the next time and so on like that. You know, there, there are certainly benefits to be gained by seeing other perspectives, I mean cost control, anything like that, how the engineers work and you you, you can see it all coming together now anyway with, with the likes of, of the, the whole BIM thing and so on like that where, where everybody's working on the same project at the same time. Ultimately building design has become hugely technical um, and I think that that, those, that technical requirement requires a, a lot of uh, heads around a, a, a workshop to, to, to resolve. Buildings are no longer, I think, really the hand of one individual. They, they tend to be a significant team uh, uh, jobs and, and uh, particularly at the scale we're working at, um, it takes a lot of people to make uh, good work. A number of years ago we were actually going for um, an interview for a new postgraduate research library in UCC. We didn't have the experience in this uh, building title, so we actually just checked around and we knew that say, the Boston area had a lot of famous universities with libraries. We found a company called Shepley Bullfinch, which are a very, very old established Boston company. They had done the libraries in Harvard and Yale uh, and some of the other um, Ivy League universities. I actually made a trip over there. I, almost cold called the office and asked them would they be interested and they were and the result from that was actually two of the um, two of the partners from from Chippy Bullfinch actually came to the interview with us and we actually got the job so um, we then spent three to four years working together on that there were trips to Boston for some of our staff and trips to Cork for some of their staff so I think the two firms actually benefited uh, a lot from that experience. Mm -hmm.